hello everyone uh, welcome to third video on node.js with mysql tutorials so in this part of the video we are going to create a node project we are going to install the packages and we are going to create our first node app and we are going to display the hello world message in our browser so i have divided uh, this video into three parts so in this first part uh, we are going to set up our node node project okay so here i'm in desktop and i'm going to create a package or directory for my node project so it will be called as node projects okay open this directory and open command prompt here hold shift and right click and you will see the open command window here option and click on it now you will be able to write node command in this uh, terminal so the first command we are going to use is npm init so npm init command is used to initialize the node project whenever we want to start a new node project okay so npm init so it will give you a few options using which we can set up our project initially okay the package name is the name of the our project so you can give any other project name or you can leave it leave it as it is i'm going to leave it leave it as it is the version is the version of our app the description is not required the entry point is the the index file of our app okay in this index file we are going to write all the uh, dependencies or the main entry point of the app so everything we are going to include in this file so i'm going to give it a name as app.js okay so leave everything else empty okay now it is okay you can hit enter and it will create a node project you can check by using directory app and you can see here package.json file is created okay so in this second part of the video we are going to install the packages the required packages for our application so basically here we are going to use express and mysql so we need to install uh, mysql package as well as express package from the node modules node package module so we are going to use npm install hyphen hyphen save which will save the package in our um, node module folder and we can use that package in our app okay to save uh, express as well as my sql hit the sheet enter and it will install all the required dependencies in our node module in our node project and we can use that in our application in later okay so it will take a little bit time just wait and it will install it okay okay the packages has been installed uh, the another package we are going to need is nodemon okay nodemon is uh, used to run our server and it will monitor our file changes every time we change the file in our node project it will going to restart the uh, node server automatically okay we don't need to do that manually so just go ahead and install npm install hyphen z we are giving hyphen z here because we are going to install this node packages as global package not as a develop uh, not as a local package but as a global package so all the project in the future we are going to create all the node project we are going to create in the future can use this package without installing it over and over again okay so just give the command as npm install slash z hyphen z and node mon and hit enter and it will install automatically okay so i have installed it already you can check the version of node mon by giving the command as node node mon hyphen hyphen person and it will show the current version of node one okay so uh, in this third part of the video we are going to 
create a hello world app in our node.js okay so so here I'm using sublime text for to edit the project but you can use any other text editor you like okay so I'm going to open the folder whatever the node project we have given wherever this wherever we have saved that project so it is in node project so we are going to select the folder and now I'm going to create a entry point for our app so you may have remembered that I have given the entry point as app.js so I need to create a file called app just app.js okay so this is our entry point now I'm going to import two required packages that is express and mysql so var var keyword is used to create a variable in javascript you may have already know that so var express equals to require this require keyword method is going to include whatever we have given inside it into our app okay so express package we need express package so i'm giving require express and the second one is mysql and the statement is require as you have guessed mysql okay so third thing i'm going to create here is app app is the main uh, command here we are going to use using which we can create a routers or we can run our app okay we can create servers as well as we can create a gate post routers using which we can control the behavior of the our web page okay so this app will be an express app okay now i am going to create a server for our for this app it is really easy just give app dot listen and give the port address remember to give this port address as unique address if anything any any other app has been using this port address address then you can't run the application okay just give any random number now function here can occur an error okay so we are catching the error so if any error occur we are going to throw the error otherwise we are going to display a message display a message using console.log server started at port number 5000 console.log you can access the web page using http localhost on 5000 okay so this is a this is how we have we are creating a server in node.js now let's go ahead and check if this is working or not okay open the command prompt and type normon okay make sure you are in the same project folder as that we have set up the node project so normon okay now we are getting that server is running at port number 5000 and we can access using this link okay let's open the browser and access that link okay so we are getting this cannot get error because we have not uh, specified any router here so we are not able to access that page but if you see this error that means we have successfully created the server node server okay so let's create our first hello world app and display the hello world message in the browser app dot get get is the request we are going to give to the express app that is whenever we try to access any page the get request is uh, automatically sent sent to the uh, server and server will send the response okay so the this will be the link one slash means it is in home page okay whenever we 
visit the home page we'll get we should get this message whatever we are going to specify in the uh, body of this router okay so function there will be it will take two argument that is request and response okay whenever the get request is performed by the our client that is the browser we are going to display response or send hello world this is really awesome app and it's working okay this is just a random message you can give anything here okay so now whenever we requ request the home page of our localhost 5000 we are going to get this message because we have specify that this will be a get request okay so let's try and refresh this okay we are not getting here maybe this is not restarting okay now it is restarting let's try again oh yes now this our simple app is working i hope you guys understood what i did in this video if not you can post the comment in the comment section and i hope to see you in my next video in the next video we are going to set up our mysql and we are going to create a database table and we are going to connect the our app with the mysql